Welcome back. Problem 9.9. .9. So determine the equivalent state of stress on element at the same point oriented 30 degree counterclockwise with respect to element shown. Sketch the result on element. In our previous problem 9.8, we rotated it uh, clockwise. Now it is given that rotate this element 30 degree counterclockwise and find the transform stresses. So let's start with the given data. In given data we have, you can see the sigma x is equal to 100 megapascal. Similarly, you have sigma y that is compressive, that is minus 75 megapascal and top x y is equal to zero because there is no shear stress. So what we have to find is that we have to find the transform stress sigma x dash, similarly sigma y dash and tau x dash y dash when theta is 30 degree and that is counterclockwise. So let's start with the solution. Okay, so it is uh, given this is state of stress. So let this is your x and this is your y. Now we have to rotate this element and the rotation will be 30 degree counterclockwise. So let this is the 30 degree and your new x is x dash will be this one and this one will be your y dash. Okay, and I will also draw it over here. So let this is your initial x axis and this is your y axis. Clear? So our new, you have to rotate this like this 30 degree. This is your x dash and this is your y dash. Okay, so we will also present the element like this so here I will show another color so your new stresses will be this will be your sigma x dash clear here you will have sigma y dash and you will have shear stress as well this is your tau of x dash, y dash. So you have to find this. So when theta is equal to 30 degree clockwise, so we will get this transform stress sigma x dash is equal to, you know that this is sigma x plus sigma y divided by two plus sigma x minus sigma y divided by two into cos of two theta plus tau of x y sine of 2 theta. So theta is this one. So 2 theta will be equal to 60 degree and counterclockwise is taken as positive. So you can just put the value sigma x dash is equal to 100 plus minus 75 divided by 2 plus 100 minus minus 75 divided by 2 into cos of 60 degree plus this term will become equal to zero because tau of x, y is zero. So we will write zero. So from here you will get sigma x dash comes out to be 56.25 mega Pascal. Okay. Now we will move towards sigma x, y dash. So sigma y dash, we know that it is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by two minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 into cos of 2 theta minus tau of x y sine of 2 theta. So just put the value 100 minus 75 divided by 2 minus 100 minus minus will be plus divided by 2 into cos of 60 degree minus this term is again zero because tau of x, y is zero. So you will get sigma y dash is equal to 
माइनस थर्टी वन पॉइंट टू फाइव मेगा पास्कल नाउ वी विल फाइंड शेयर स्ट्रेस इन ट्रांसफॉर्म सेक्शन सो टॉप एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिगमा एक्स माइनस सिगमा वाई डिवाइड बाई टू इंटू साइन ऑफ टू टीटा प्लस टॉप एक्स वाई कॉज ऑफ टू टीटा सो माइनस हंड्रेड माइनस सेवेंटी फाइव डिवाइड बाई टू इंटू साइन ऑफ सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड प्लस अगेन दिस टर्म विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्राम हेयर यू विल गेट टॉप एक्स डैश वाई डैश कम्स आउट टू बी माइनस पास्कल नाउ वी विल डिफाइन दैम ऑन दिस इज यूर एक्स एक्सिस दिस इज यूर वाई एक्सिस सो न्यू ट्रांसफॉर्म एक्सिस वॉस एक्स डैश एंड दिस इज वाई डैश सो वट वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द एलिमेंट लाइक दिस एंड वी विल शो द स्ट्रेसिस so this is your sigma x dash this will be your sigma y because that is negative so it will be compressive and top x dash is also negative so it will be like this one so this is sigma y dash and this will be top of x dash y dash sigma x dash was 56. 25 मेगा पास्कल वाइल सिग्मा वाई डैश इज माइनस थर्टी मेगा पास्कल एंड टॉप ऑफ एक्स वाई इज माइनस सेवेंटी मेगा पास्कल सो दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट प्रॉब्लम 9 डैश नाइन